What's up guys, Enrique here. Thanks for checking this out. Uh, wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of Circuit's new 1.5 update. So how it entails to you, how it entails to me, how you might find this useful in your studio or your live setup or wherever you may be, plane, train, or on a bus somewhere, and uh, the beauty of it. So first off, of course, let's get the big one out the way, the synthesizer preview or audition. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn synth one up so we can hear it. If I hold down shift and synth one brings up our synth selection page and I can now select a synth and hear what it sounds like beforehand. So this will always play the root note or if it's a polyphonic patch, play a chord. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and stick to Novation Circuit's uh, classic synth one, patch one and turn the volume down and the reason I'm turning the volume down is because I'm utilizing Synth 1's MIDI Channel 1 to control my modular setup. And why might I have a modular setup, you might ask, is because in 1.5 there is now these kind of fractional gates or micro steps, if you will, in between these 16 steps that we originally have per bar. So check this out. Originally, I'm gonna turn my modular up so we can hear it. I can say on that step, I want it to be here, right? So this is a solid step. But with 1.5, what we can do now is you can say, I want this step to be a little shorter. And this is, this is great because you can create even more variation to your songs already before it would get kind of annoying where you're just barely tapping the sound or the synth synthesizer um, notes and it would still come out as a solid step. This, this solves that problem. So check this out. If I duplicate this one here and I change this one to a, something a lot shorter, you have six individual steps. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. If you hit it one more time, it'll take you back to the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's listen to these two. I'm gonna go ahead and mute everything, except for synth one. You can hear that that one's a lot pluckier. And that's the reason I have the modular here because it responds really well to different signals and um, it's really snappy. So for this, I'm using the IntelliGel U-MIDI. It's taking MIDI's, uh, MIDI from circuit as well as its clock, run, and reset. A cool thing is it also has velocity, which I'll probably plug into something a little later. Another great audition is this by Hotchkiss. It's a CVOCD, and you can check it out on 64picks.com slash CVOCD. I'll put, it, I'll put it in the description. I'm gonna end up doing a video on this later, so keep an eye out for that. So check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the solid step. Let's just shorten it up by one. And I'm going to duplicate that a couple times. Let's say 1, 5, 9, and 13. Then I'll take the short one and put it on the opposites of that. If we press play, you can hear it's almost like swing already. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and add some drums. So this is a great audition to have because you can kind of come up with these cool different variations on top of all these things like utilizing circuits maybe lengths. Let's say I want this length of synth 1 to be 12 steps and I also want its velocity um, to go and do, let's see, I have the velocity here. So we're not using Synth 1 from Novation Circuit, right? That volume's turned all the way down, but we're just using its MIDI and its Velocity MIDI to be sent somewhere. Let's send it to Shape. So we're gonna change the shape of our synthesizer. So if I open up the filter, and if I press play,
So now let's add some more notes in there. Synthesizer 2. Synthesizer 2 is going to be a synthesizer from Circuit and Synth 1 is not being played within Circuit, it's being played by the modular. Before I get too carried away, this is the beauty of the new 1.5 update. You have a quick audition to your synths, which also completely obliterates the video I did a couple months ago on how to do that. So for all you homies out there staying on 1.4 and not having this and still using that circuit tip I did, shout out to you guys. But in reality, get 1.5 because it's way better. You also have the new gate lengths which are amazing to have. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys have, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out, hit me up, and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thanks so much. Peace.